G'day guys, I'm Joe Train and welcome to the Model Railway Builder game, Rolling Line. And in this video, I'll be doing a showcase on my Network Road Road Sign Pack, which I've started working on four weeks ago. Now, the reason I decided to make this road pack was because the developer of Rolling Line, Gagepunk, announced that he was working on a new road creation system for the game. And that's when I thought of making a massive road sign pack along with an American road sign pack add-on which I'll both be showcasing today, but without further ado, let's get straight into it. Alright, so here we are in the world, and this is just the map I use to showcase the props I've made for Rolling Line. And here are the road signs in question. And one thing to note about these road signs, I didn't initially intend for them to be used for Rolling Line, since I actually originally made these road signs as uh, terrain assets for my Scram Mechanic traffic sign pack. However, the workshop item didn't really get all that popular on Scram Mechanic, so I've decided to reuse the signs for Rolling Line. And since Gage, developer of Rolling Line, had done the sneak peek on the new road signs, I decided it would be a good idea to port the signs I made for Scrap Mechanic into um, Rolling Line. As you can see, they're a lot more like detailed, but like a lot of the props you have in Rolling Line. As on the back, I have um, like actual textures on here. Whereas if it was Rolling Line, all the props would all just be like a solid color. So the game has a low poly aesthetic. So like all of the props and that would all be flat shaded and they wouldn't be very high detailed. But I decided since uh, on Rolling Line, there are a lot of props that use like textures in that. I decided, you know what, I might as well have um, some like high quality signs. And here we have just different categories here. Then over here, we have more road signs. And this is the American add on pack. So as I I'm from Australia, I usually just I usually just build Australian content since you know Australia doesn't really get a lot of recognition in the media. So I decided, you know what, well, might as well make my own country road signs there. And since it is a New Zealand game, you know, it makes sense since New Zealand and Australian, they're very similar, not just culturally, but like their roads, all their infrastructure and like the signs, they're very similar as well. And they've also, I was reading on Wikipedia and uh, Australia also adapted a variant of Americans sign, the American um, style signs. So like all the warning signs, I have like these diamond yellow borders around them. Although the biggest difference is that we use kilometers an hour instead of America uses miles. Para. Even though it is a New Zealand game, it's still very popular with American audiences. So, like, it has a really big American um, fan base. So I decided, you know what, well, might as well make exclusive American signs as well. So we have like all of the speed signs here, and they're all in miles per hour. Because for some reason, America doesn't use the metric system. Which, come on, America, catch up, guys. Anyway, so let's start over here. So you got road work, reduce speed. So you would have the roads work signs and these are the signs that you put in front of road works. Then you would have this one like warning people that there's a road works. Then once they're past the road works, you have this at the end of it. And we just have some, these are like the hazard signs. So we have um, roads subject to flooding sign here. And it says indicator shows depth. Although I haven't actually made the actual indicator for it yet. Since the indicator actually has like measurements on it. And I wanted to make sure, you know, the measurements were accurate to the measurements in rolling line. So I'm pretty sure like, like if I were to get to a car or something out here. Oh, and that's, you got to get the props. Yeah, the cars are actually drivable now, so you can actually, um, there's like two sets of cars, there's drivable ones and just ones that are props, so we just get that prop one here. So here we go, we just put that right in front of it, and you can see, yeah, there's quite quite a size difference there. When making this, I did scale them down from their, like, original size and scram mechanic, but I, I still think I made them a bit, they're still a bit too big, but it isn't really that much of a problem, since, you know, you can literally just go in here, and then you can literally just scale it down, you know, by just doing that, scale it up, whatever. And I'm pretty sure if you get, let's say we get a post here and let's just scale this down. And if we get a sign and we put it on the post and because it, they both had the same snapping on it, it automatically scales down the sign uh, you put on the post. So that's a very useful feature as well. So you don't have to scale the post and also scale the sign the post is on. There isn't really an easy way to change um, the scale of the signs. Although I have made a suggestion in the um, online Discord. It would be nice if there 
was like an option to set the scale like you it would be set to like one default but you can have it like scale it down and up in case you know you have a bunch of props as like such as my ones here that aren't really to the right scale so it would make it a lot more easier for it to um to change the scale of the props without having to individually re-import all the props you know which takes a lot of time so if you're watching this I'm um, gauge bump because you will inevitably be watching this make sure you're paying attention another suggestion I also had was to for more snapping options because currently you can have multiple snapping points but they're all set onto the same layer so it would be nice if like in the individual snapping point you can set custom layers for instance so let's say you have um, the arrow there and you wanted to put one of those advisory speed limit signs underneath it's fine once you put that on there but the speed it can be tedious when you're putting the sign because I put two snapping points on there so it'd be useful if they just snap to the one snapping point so I can have this um, the main arrow only wants to snap to the top one and the advisory sign only wants to snap to the bottom one there so that would be a really useful feature another suggestion I would make to make it so that props don't snap onto themselves so if I get a post here and um, so there's two snapping points on here so there's one on the bottom sorry one on the top and then one underneath although the uh, posts also have the same snapping option which makes it so that it wants to snap onto itself like that so if you, if let's just move this out the way there's two props there's two posts inside of each other it's hard to see so it'd be nice if there was an option to make it so props don't snap to each other although there is a way around it if you press f2 you can set snapping to false it makes it a lot easier when placing props next to each other so look, so they don't want to snap to each other now but let's say we put it to true see it already wanted to snap to that one but like let's say we, i want to put something here but it's trying to snap to here as you can kind of i hope you can actually see this on the video so yeah it's a lot more you can it's still doable but it's a lot more tedious to try to to place all of them because it, it wants to snap to itself so that would just be a nice um a f suggestion to add just for ease of use another thing i should mention uh which also involves this point this post as well um if you get like one of the signs let's say you wanted to get one of these warning signs and you put it in your um belt it doesn't actually display what the sign actually is because it scales it scales like the edges of it down so it could actually fit in the belt which is kind of annoying since you can't tell what the sign is um, since it's like really sm it's really small and it's facing away from you but that's not the only unfortunate thing about this because if we get the post here and um <laughs> we put it in the belt uh yeah that's quite the um appendage there um so basically it scales the post it makes it so like the prop can fit in like a certain radius it doesn't check for how like long or tall it is so basically just if you have the post is just a normal size it will literally just like have it scaled <laughs> to base to its full size <laughs> so yeah that's um that's that's another thing um that the developer might want to look into uh, anyways where were we oh yes back in the um back in the signs here so here we have the fire danger rating sign and this is the sign they have in Australia to show how likely a fire would start. And you also may notice that the second level is high. So, so you know Australia gets hot when the second lowest fire danger rating is high. So here we have the next hazard signs here. And this is the end of road curve marker. So this sign you'd usually have at like the end of a road. And then we have some chevrons here. And then these are just to mark if there's like a narrow road or like a parting in the road, you'll just have these here. And then you have some for the other direction. And then lastly, we have um, this island curve marker here. And then this marker you'd usually have on a roundabout. So if there's a roundabout, you usually have that in there to show the direction it's supposed to go. And then lastly, this is the edge of road hazard marker. So it's like a reflective thing. If you're driving at night, they reflect the light from the car. So you can actually see the edge of the road more clearly if there's um, no lights on it. So anyways, those were the um, hazard signs and now I'll move on to over here. So as I said, they're all based off Australian signs. So we have give way here and in America they use yield instead of give way. I didn't actually make a yield sign in the American pack, but um, I was hoping uh, that they would just be fine with using the give way sign since they literally have the exact same meaning. So this is a also a give way sign, but it, this one's dedicated for just for roundabouts. And then we have a stop sign, a pretty classic road sign there then we have no entry sign then this is no left turn and no going straight ahead no right turn no u-turn no parking and this is no trucks so let's, if you wanted to have a road that you didn't want trucks to go on then you can just have that there no buses no pedestrians no bikes all right and then we have the second row here and these are all the speed signs are on they're all in kilometers per hour so speed limit 10 20 30 40 50 60 17 18 90 100 110 which is a 
about which is as fast as you can go in Australia apart from in the Northern Territory um, their speed signs go up to 130 but it's it's just the one territory that does them we have the um speed D restriction sign which is basically just a no speed limit sign so you can go as, you go as fast as you want um, just make sure you don't you're doing it safe you know you don't want to crash into anything whatever now you got you have the one-way sign and um, America also have a they also use this as a alternate version of the one that they use now we have a uh, one way forwards one way right only left and only straight and only right and this sign here represents two-way traffic so before on the old two-way traffic sign it literally just stated our uh, two-way on the sign so now it's the text is kind of redundant so they just decided to just have the arrows instead it gets the same message across uh, bus, uh, bike lane, bus lane, truck lane, keep left, uh, keep right, and then this U-turn permitted, and here we have, uh, this is for pedestrians, and uh, this is a separated path, so imagine you would have a, a path with uh, both a lane for pedestrians to walk on, and also a lane for bikes to ride on as well, you have that, and then this is just like that other sign there, except it's for both pedestrians and bikes, so it's a shared path there, no through road, you would have it on a court, or like a road, that just ends authorized vehicles accepted and these signs are the ones you would have under here so you could have like um no left turn but authorized vehicles accepted as an example and yeah bicycles accepted bus accepted truck accepted pretty self-explanatory police accepted and um turn left and time with care so this is the kind of sign you would have um on an intersection like let's say you were doing a left turn there would be a, sl a slip lane and then they'll just have this um at the end usually they have the um the give way sign above it so you would just have that underneath the give way sign give way to pedestrians and this is this sign you would usually have underneath a shared zone lot a sign so i'll put a picture as an example so you would usually have it so shared zone and then underneath you have give way to pedestrians although I haven't actually made the, the shared zone light so that's something I could do in the future if I'm thinking on um on continuing work on this pack but you know it's not, it's not really that necessary like oh, most of these signs people are going to use anyway so it's just that whatever you need you, it will most likely be made here anyway so we got um ahead and this sign would usually be uh, used along with a bus or like transit or truck lane signs uh, put an example on the screen uh, so we have a head left a head right and uh, let's say there was a bike lane uh like, like this one you would have um bike lane sign and it ended and you would just have the word that sign end underneath it and then we have here this is a towaway zone sign so if let's say you put this you could probably put this under the no parking sign there and we have the information sign so you have parking disabled parking and uh, train station parking a uh, bus station parking and lastly these are like the bigger signs so you have the railway crossing signs so this is um if a railway crossing where you won't have any signals you would have have these signs here like usually usually in like rural outback areas and here we have wrong way go back sign this sign you would have on the end of a highway ramp to make sure that people would know not to go down that side of the highway and then we have um overtaking not permitted overtaking permitted when safe with the dotted line there all right so that's all the um that's all the regulatory signs and here we have um the warning signs here so we have a uh, sharp 90 degree turn to the left sharp 90 degree turn to the right and then we have a double sharp uh, the curve first to the left and then to the right and then we have a double sharp uh, it's um curve first to the right and then to the left then we have a more casual smooth curve there curve to the left curve to the right then we have a another double curve a more gentle curve so first to the left and right then to the right to the left then we have this squiggly line here and this is the winding road so it'd go left and then right and then left and then right the left and right to the other side then we have um hairpin turns here so this would be uh, 120 or so curve you would have this here and same goes for here and then here are the, the junction signs so this is the the crossroad intersection and usually uh they used to look like if i get a picture here they used to look like you just um like a plus sign but now they actually have an arrow to show where the traffic is supposed to go and then we have um t junction there and we have um side uh another intersection we have a side road intersection from the left and side road intersection from the 
the right. Going to the next row here, a staggered side road intersection. So first from the left, then from the right, first from the right, then to the left, from the left. Then we have the sub curve signs here. And then this is, so this is a curve to the left, but there's a side road intersection on the right. And yeah, the longer you go, the longer the, um, the longer the names on the, for the signs are. And we have uh, another side road, a uh, curve to the right, side road on the left. And then we have curve to the left, side road on the left, curve to the right, side road on the right. And we have curve to the left, and then we have a an intersection, curve to the right, an intersection there. And now we have um side road intersection entering straight on a curve to the left, and then a stride road intersection entering straight on a curve to the right. And then we have some T junction signs, or the, and then these ones are angled, so T left, T junction or curve to the right, or beyond the curve. And then here we have these are the merging signs here. So these are the signs you would have uh, on entering a highway. So you'd have merging traffic, well not not just exclusively on the highway, but they're most commonly seen on the highway so merging traffic to the merging traffic from the left merging traffic from the right and there's an added lane to the left added right lane to the right next row here uh, here these are the newer sign the new signs so these are the railway crossing signs here so we have railway crossing on a road ahead railway crossing on a road ahead skewed to the left railway crossing on a road ahead skewed to the right and I noticed on the Wikipedia the icon for the the sign is wrong it should it should really look like this so if someone could fix that please feel free to do so anyways so we have a railway crossing on a crossroad on the left railway crossing crossroad on the right railway crossing on a side road to the left railway crossing side road on the right and finally we have a, a warning of a roundabout there this sign would be ahead of the give way on a roundabout sign there and we have a speed bump sign and this is a road narrows divided road end of divided road falling rocks on the left Falling rocks on the right, and this is a steep descent, and then we have a steep ascent. Ascent? Yep. <laughs> and then we have slippery road when wet. Slippery road for motorbike uh, traffic sign. Railway crossing with signal. And this is a railway crossing um, without a signal. Although this sign can also be used as a signal as well. Alternative. We have entering trams, uh, entering buses, entering trucks, plane. So I'd imagine if um, you're near an airport and you uh, see one of planes that could be flying over on, on a road, they would have that. We have farm machinery here. We have the animals. We have an emu, kangaroo, and we have wild feral horses. And then we have livestock, camel, deer. And believe it or not, there is there is actually deer in Australia. Just uh, most commonly in Victoria, where this sign is used, you would see this sign. And so we have um cattle, equestrians, which is just horse riding, ducks, and we have one that literally just says wild animals on it. Left lane ends, crest. So this is like a as in the crest of a hill, you would have this here, and dip as like as a dip in the hill. Floodway, so if it, if the road is prone to flooding, you would have this here. Gravel road, self-explanatory. Low level bridge, self-explanatory. Mostly is self-explanatory, I guess. Opening bridge, so this is if you have a drawbridge, um, you would have this sign here. Overhead live wires, so like this is a sign you would have in front of railway tracks. Um, if you have like overhead wires around it, they usually have um a height for the wires. Although you know, I wanted it to be, I wanted the sign to be more versatile i didn't want to just be stuck to one height so i just have it say overhead live wires a slow point which is like if you have a slow like a slow curve or like rocky road or something and we have uneven surface so if your road's on like a slant i, I imagine you'd have that ambulance station the, the ambulance fire station and this one just says road ends and let's have this nightmare of a road sign here and this was actually and this was actually just a meme of a road sign that like has no reason to exist but i thought i just you know just i decided to include it here because i thought it was funny and anyways so here's the secondary road signs so these are the advisory roads the advisory speed limits so you don't actually have to go these speeds but just advise you go so if you're going around a corner you would have these 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 Bob's now. And then we have next the next signs. So it basically means like let's say you have um the kangaroo sign here, you would put the sign under it and it would say um it basically means make kangaroo next for one kilometer. For the whole one kilometer, there's a chance that a kangaroo could be there. Um, although it's probably a pretty slim chance. We have two, two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten, twenty, or oh, fifteen and twenty there. Merge left, merge right. So this would be used in conjunction 
conjunction with um, like these signs here on side road and on side road on, on side road left on side road right so these would be like for if you had a railway crossing on the right you would have on side road right when wet so we'd have this sign underneath the slippery road signs one lane so if, if the road merges to one lane you would have that there when frosty is basically the exact same meaning as the um as the when wet like pretty much the exact same use as when wet but but it's if it's like cold temperatures whatever added lane drive to conditions and then you have this arrow here and this arrow and this is a like a crossing arrow road sign i'll put some examples on the screen this is like let's say you had like pedestrians or something you would have um it basically mean that they're crossing in that area um anyways so you have good luck sign and this is using conjunction with the warning the, the sign here and then we have this sign which is a curve marker so if you have a road that goes around a bend you would put that sign there and i didn't actually showcase these signs here so we have so these are the highway signs the exit to the left exit to the right then we have some just random um destination signs so i just wanted to make it i wanted to make some like really vague town names you know sounding like vague town names so we have townsville literally the word ville is literally it literally just means town so the sign the town name is literally just towns town Anyway, so we have very generic names, Table Lane Road, Pure Water, Round Hill, and a Low Med, and a Med is just short for Meadow, and Miriam Valley, Pure Water, Round Hill, Hinder Creek, Pure Water Round Hill, and then we have the, the sign here, Townsville and Low Med. Anyways, and here are the highway signs, and I'll get into those in a moment. And then here are the US signs, so we have all the speed limits here, and then we have these signs which is supposed to be apparently it's supposed to be give way uh keep left and keep right it, it, even though it looks nothing like a keep left or keep right sign i asked for some suggestions in the discord for some road signs and that's what was one suggestion so even though the ones are in my main packet so much clear it's so much easier to tell that you're supposed to keep left and keep right that was just one of the suggestions uh someone made uh, in the discord uh because i was asking for suggestions for with some American road signs and we have some various parking signs here and here we are the American one-way signs here and we have this sign uh, adopt a highway this was su suggested by this person discord cruising 420 and apparently this means it's it means like take care of the section of a highway in particular and they would and usually underneath they would have like sponsors or whatever and we have welcome to sweet home alabama and i we made all this there's also a bunch of holes in it which are all bullet holes um yeah because for some reason um the americans just love guns so much that they they start shooting their own signs for some reason they've shot their own sign what are they going to do to us uh anyways here are the the warning signs the warning signs you have all the advisory signs at the bottom which are basically the same as the ones in here but they're in miles per hour so you have 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 and we have next 50 feet one mile two miles two miles three miles four miles five miles for six miles seven miles eight miles i didn't put a seven miles eight miles ten miles 50 miles 20 miles and here we have the road so we the railway crossing sign rail or they call it railroad in america because they have to be special and call it something else and we have uh, this is a low ground clearance sign you would have on a railway crossing Tr and trains may exceed 80 miles per hour no train horn so to warn people that there's no train horn at the crossing we have this is a roundabout sign but in the other direction because they drive on the right in america this is a two-way traffic sign but on the right and then we have this sign which is a low bridge obstacle Cool sign and I've made it 11 foot 8 which is actually a reference to a bridge in America uh, which is colloquially known as the can opener bridge because it literally just shreds the top of, of um, trucks that try to pass onto it like literally the top of them if like the bridge was like opening a can for, essentially like the whole roof would just come off the, the trucks so I decided to include that um, bridge there even though they did actually raise the bridge it's no longer 11 foot 8 it's like 12 foot 6 which is still not enough since the truck still gets stuck on it anyways but anyways and we have on um, this another low bridge um sign but this time it's in it's in metric units so it's in 3.8 ma uh, meters which is what it's the proper unit of measurement so for once they're not using the metric system 
Anyway, we so have um, slow children playing, and um, yeah, ignore the um, the sign underneath there. There's, there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, it's not it's not actually telling you that to slow for children playing. It's just telling you that there's slow children playing. So I thought that was pretty interesting. And next we have a disabled handicap sign, so for warning for like crippled people. <laughs> then you have that sign there, whatever. And we have this is a fire truck sign. So I assume we have this at like a fire station. Like it's to warn that like the type of vehicles that'll be on the road. Golf cart, for some reason that's something that you have to be wary about in America, but sure, why not? And we have a bear, a lot of bears in America. And we have moose, we have moose, ram, and then we have a donkey. So there you go, there's all the, the American warning signs there. Alright, so here's a closer look at the um these highway overhead highway signs. And a cool feature with this, if I get my edit tool out, if we edit details, these are actually modular, so you can actually make um your own custom highway signs here so we, if you want no matter how long you make the highway um you can make a guidance sign as long as you like so um hey let me get so go into here and we can get this divided here and one thing to note about um this sign is that they um snap to these gantries here so these gantries have multiple snapping points so you want to make sure that you're putting the signs on the gantries rather than trying to put them on the edges since only the um only the bottom ones have snapping points on the edges to make sure you can put these caps on the, the ends of them all right so that's enough looking at the signs now let's actually look at some examples which i have made all right, so here we are in the top of the south map, and if we go over here, here's just our intersection. I use um, the examples you can use. So as you can see, I have the turn left and time with care, keep left underneath, give way. So you know, I'm I'm too lazy to make my own layout from scratch to use the sign on. So just sort of just adding them onto the already pre-existing layout as an example, what you can do. So you have six six kilometers an hour, then the destination um, sign there. And if we go down the road, here we have another example. So I use the overtaking for middle when safe, where the dotted line is there, and all the um, curvature signs here, and have the um, the falling rock sign. Although it probably wouldn't be very safe to over overtake on a curve, um, but I just wanted to make use of the falling rock sign as well with um, the curvature sign and the overtaken sign as well so I decided to do that. Well, and also if we go into um the miniature mode here it also looks nice as well. Um yeah, so that's that. Yes that's, that's turn. And we have the last example here. And if we go to and this is like at an intersection. So you would have um railway crossing, look for trains, and then you have the dude, the no pedestrian sign there. And then the railway crossing on the side road and then a bunch of those um warning signs and over here you have the destination sign tells you like where the road leads whatever but yeah anyways guys that's been the showcase of my network roads road sign pack along with my american road sign add-on pack and if you want to download the packs i'll put a link to them in the description and i can't wait to see what you'll build with these news assets i hope i didn't bore you too much explaining all the individual road signs but i just wanted to make sure you knew what they were used for and along with their corresponding counterparts and i just made this because i wanted to provide some more assets to the community that they can use for their layouts that were left out of the game and I do these projects in my spare time for free I don't really make any money from them so liking and subscribing will be greatly appreciated but anyways lastly be sure to join the journey with Joe Train.